Too overwhelmed Darth Bry Boy. Welcome to a Darth Bry Boy Blu ray update. I always like to try to get my hands in frame. The jazz hands. Oh, and if you saw the uh, date, yo, me in editing room. Yo, Brian, Windows Movie Maker Brian. Yeah, you. Put the fucking date in. Did you put it in? You better have put it in, bitch. My hand, um. My hand's not in frame, and I don't know why, but whatever. Point is, it's a brand new Blu ray update with some new James Bond flicks. I got these on my college for $5 a piece. Both of them and the other Bond Blu rays were $5. So. You might be wondering, yo, are you going to get the... You said there were a few more, right? Well, there are. But here's the problem. If I bought those, right? Yeah. If I decided to buy those, what would happen is that... Is that the... Yeah, I gotta love that uh, nice... Kind of gun barrel vibe Blu-ray shit. Now, technically, these are all kind of re-releases of the two-disc set, which is a little annoying. Technically, every Bond Blu-ray release is just the same fucking release with a different cover. And I don't really like how they did the uh, Bond Blu-ray this time. Next, we got Cars 2. What the fuck? You actually paid money for this? No! I use my Disney movie reward points, which is technically money, but I was going to buy this eventually because now I'm going through a Pixar completionist streak, right? Streak. I said streak. I meant streak. Idiot. In editing room. Edit it out. Thank you, idiot me. All right. So the only positive I could say is that one, I like this combo pack design. I wish more combo packs were like this, you know, because I like the, D I, I'll be honest, I like DVD cases better than Blu-ray cases, maybe it's nostalgia, but I just like the feel of a DVD case over a Blu-ray case, I know that's a lot, I know that's a blasphemy to a lot of collectors out there, but it's true, it's how I feel, so yeah, there's a slipcover, it's a pretty badass slipcover, except the, um, it's a little bit damaged. Don't know what service they were using, but whatever. Point being is that this looks great. And the thing that really gets me angry about Cars 2 is this. I popped it in, and I was getting pissed at it, but you know what? It is a gorgeous, gorgeous-looking movie. Oh, my God. Like, this was a stunning fucking film, you know? It was so goddamn beautiful, and I already used that code, so fuck you. And the same art. And I, I guess like to put this in perspective as to how much Pixar cared about this movie. Now, there is a 3D set of this, right? However, while you could say, well, this is a standard Blu-ray edition, what do you expect? Now, while there are other versions... The Brave Blu-ray, on its own, has more extras than this. I have proof. Yeah, i just like to put that in perspective for a minute. Look at that. Now, despite... Now, to be fair, just being in two discs, but ignore the two discs. Look at that. That is way more than this. Let's compare. Ignore the second Blu-ray. Just look at the single Blu-ray, okay? Tell me that's not funny. I think that's funny. Shows you how much faith they had in this. And I can't believe this was John Lasseter, but... There was another director besides Lasseter. Now... Could this be all Lasseter's fault? Maybe. But after seeing another director was involved... There's a part of me that wants to give him a benefit of the doubt for this movie sucking. So, yeah. Also, I'm going to probably be doing a review of American Sniper. So, I look forward to that. And this is not a part of the update. This is just an old, a Blu-ray I had on standby. I'm trying to... See, there's a reason why I bought this. I'm, well, I told you the reason, but... 
Yeah. Bond. The last two are World is Not Enough and Die Another Day. But I really don't like those two. So it's borderline. Live long and prosper and have a nice day.